Okay, hi gentlemen. Uh, this one here is the ground station that I built. Uh, I'm trying to speak a bit louder because uh, in the previous video my voice was too soft. So over here we have a monitor. This one here is the range video ground station. We have a DVR and uh, inside here we can slot in uh, 3S batteries. I have a capacity here of uh, 10,000 uh, milliamp hours. Now over here are my connectors. Yeah. For example, here I can nicely and neatly connect uh, uh, my goggles here. Uh, this one a military grade connector. They are very rugged and ruggedizable. Um, you slot them in and then they come with a lock nut. So the beauty is that really you cannot pull them out and it's really good for field operation. Now the more important part here are the two trackers that I built. So we have here one for the 433 MHz 6 element Yagi. And over here we have another one which is a 12 turn helica for 1.2 GHz. Uh, the trick here is now that um, that uh, these antennas here are well balanced. So we have here the antenna and a counterweight. And so no matter how you position them, yeah, they will really stay in that position and put no load on the servos, which means we reduce our current draw from the battery and prolong operation. Now what I want to show you is how we do the setup for the range video ground station. So I'm just going to run that setup and adjust uh, my counterclockwise and clockwise angles. Um, let's go at it. Okay, uh, first I have to set my counterclockwise swing direction so it's like... 90 degrees in this direction, we will adjust this now. Okay, I can here click in my offset, we are already about there. The next thing is my counterclockwise, so right now they should swing uh, in this direction, what they currently also do. Okay. Here again, I can fine tune the offset, and so about, about this much is, is how, how I want it to be. Then the next thing I can do here is I can adjust my servo zero, uh, so I just give you a demo how, how this actually moves. Yeah. Okay, this is about my zero. And now the next thing that we want to see is okay the, the tilt 90 degrees. Okay, so here we are about maybe one click less, and here about the 90 degrees. Maybe that this will work Okay, and uh, now we can already start uh, trying to adjust the speed. Uh, so this is about how they swing, how slow or how fast they swing. Okay. And now I will also do that for the tilt. Yeah. So for tilt we have them swing like this. That would now mean that our setup is now complete and we go back to the standard. Now it was not so interesting to see the, the, the the panning. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually select the, the panning option right now so that we can see how fast uh, these guys can swing around. Okay. So this is here the adjusted panning speed. It is not too fast and not too slow. I think it's actually pretty ideal. Um, we don't overload the servos and um, I think it's adequate. Uh, considering that we have here about an antenna of about 1.6 kilo, including the counterweights, we are easily at uh, two and a half kilo. So I think the the sp spinning speed or rotating mass is quite high. And with that speed, we are about there. I'm gonna stop this now. And now let's have a look here. Um, one trick that I really that took me quite a, some time are these ceramic capacitors here. Is this brown dot over here? I always had interference uh, coming in through the wire. I'm using here a Cat6 shielded cable. So by right, it's shielded, and there should be no RF sneaking in. But I was not capable of of uh, getting uh, this interference free. So here, um, 150 picofarad ceramic cap parallel to signal and ground help me to filter out any interference here. I strongly recommend that you do this too. Internally on the power supply I'm going to remove the lid. Uh, I also have here two capacitors here. Uh, one is a 1000 microfarad and the other one is 470 microfarad. Uh, these two will help filter out uh, any video noise. 
You can see that these trackers here are built by using winch servos, the key element. So we have here uh, 1200, uh, I think 60 degrees rotation. And this one here is now geared down using all servo city parts. So the tracker is actually very precise, very small, but very powerful. So for example on, uh, on, uh, on uh, the, the, the tilt mechanism we have here about 80 kilogram uh, per centimeter. Uh, this one here is incorporated here by massive gearing mechanism and this is how the tracker works. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did enjoy building my tracker. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.